Hello, viewers. Welcome back. Today, we will discuss about the runway lighting system. All runways licensed for night use have edge, threshold, and end lighting. Center line and touchdown zone lighting is provided as additional guidance in support of low visibility operation. Runway edge lighting shall be provided for a runway intended for use at night or for precision approach runway for use at day or night and should be provided for runway intended for takeoff in a RVR less than 800 meters by day. Runway edge light is located along the edges of the runway delineated by edge markings or outside the edges at a distance less than or equals to 3 meters from the edges along the full length of runway in two parallel rows equidistant from the runway center line. Runway edge lighting is uniformly spaced at intervals not exceeding 60 meters for an instrument runway or 100 meters for a non-instrument runway. Runway edge light is white except in the following instances. Pre-threshold area where a landing threshold is displaced but the pre-threshold area is available for the takeoff run. The lights between the beginning of runway pavement and displaced threshold show red in the approach direction. Pilots taking off in such a situation would see red edge lights up to the green threshold. Caution zone lighting. On eyeless equipped runways without centerline lighting, yellow edge lighting of 600 meters or one third of runway length, whichever is less, is installed at the remote end of the runway. The yellow caution zone so formed gives a visual warning of the approaching runway end. Runway edge lights are white and runway edge lights are uniformly spaced at 60 meter intervals for an instrument runway. Runway edge lights in the pre-threshold area between beginning of runway to the displaced threshold shall show red in the approach direction. Runway edge light section of 600 meter or one third of runway length, whichever is less, at the remote end of the runway may show yellow. These lights gives a visual warning of the approaching runway end. Runway edge lights are white except pre-threshold area where it is red in approach direction and yellow in the last 600 meter or one third of runway length. Runway threshold lights shall be provided for a runway equipped with runway edge lights. Runway threshold lights shall be placed in a row at right angles to the runway axis. Lights are installed as near the extremity of runway as possible, but not more than 3 meters outside or at the displaced threshold. Runway threshold lighting is green and indicate the start of the available landing distance. Runway threshold lights will consist of at least 6 lights on a non-instrument or non-precision approach runway. Runway threshold lights are uniformly spaced between edge lights at intervals of 3 meter between edge lights on precision approach category 1. Runway threshold lights are uniformly spaced between edge lights at intervals less than or equals to 3 meter on precision approach category 2 or category 3. Runway threshold lights are uniformly spaced between edge lights at interval of 3 meters. Wing bar lights. Wing bar lights are provided for additional conspicuity on precision approach runway. Wing bar lights shall be provided on non-instrument or non-precision approach runway where threshold is displaced 
and threshold lights are required but not provided. Wing bar lights shall be symmetrically disposed about runway center line at threshold in two groups. Each wing bar consists of at least five lights extending at least 10 meter outwards from edge lights and innermost light in line with the edge lights. Wing bar lights shall be symmetrically disposed about runway center line at threshold in two groups. Each wing bar consists of at least five lights extending at least 10 meters outwards from edge lights. The threshold and wing bar lights shall be fixed unidirectional lights showing green in the direction of approach to the runway. Figure 1 and 2 are two different configurations of threshold and wing bars. Wing bars are shown in bracket. Six red lights which are runway end lights will be visible from opposite direction. Runway end lights will be discussed shortly. Figure 1 and 3 are identical. These configurations have 6 runway end lights. Figure 4 is for category 3 threshold and wing bar. The runway end lights are uniformly placed at an interval of 6 meters or less. Runway threshold identification lights should be installed at the threshold or displaced threshold of non precision approach runway for additional conspicuity. Runway threshold identification light shall be located symmetrically in line with the threshold and approximately 10 meters outside each line of runway edge lights. Runway threshold identification light should be flashing white lights and flash frequency between 60 and 120 per minute. Runway end lighting is red and marks the extremity of the runway that is available for maneuvering. Runway end lights shall be provided for a runway equipped with edge lights. Runway end lighting shall be fixed unidirectional lights showing red in the direction of runway. Runway end lighting shall be placed on a line at right angles to the axis as near the end of runway as possible, but less than or equals to a distance of 3 meters outside the runway end markings. Runway end lighting should consist of at least 6 lights, equally spaced between edge lights or symmetrically disposed about center line in two groups with a gap between the group not more than half the distance between rows of edge lights. For precision approach category 3, spacing less than or equals to a distance of 6 meters except for the gap between the groups. The red lights are runway end lights. Pilots should not continue a landing roll or taxi beyond the runway end lights. In this picture, red color runway end lights are shown in rectangular bar. High intensity centerline lighting is provided in addition to edge lighting on runways equipped for low visibility operation. As per Annex 14, centerline lights shall be provided on precision approach runway category 2 or 3. Centerline lights shall be provided for runway intended for takeoff at RVR less than 400 meters. Centerline lights shall be located along the center line or offset by less than or equals to a distance of 60 centimeters between threshold and end of runway. Centerline lights are installed at a longitudinal spacing of 15 meters. The centerline lighting is color coded in order to warn a pilot of the approaching end of runway. White centerline lighting extends from the threshold to 900 meter from the runway end. The following 600 meter is alternate white and red light. And the final 300 meter are red lights. 
Center line lights are installed at a longitudinal spacing of 15 meter along the center line or offset by less than or equals to a distance of 60 centimeter. Runway center line guidance for takeoff from beginning to displace threshold should be provided by approach lighting system or runway center line lights or by barrettes of 3 meters spaced 30 meter apart. Here, runway center line guidance in the pre threshold area is provided with approach lighting system. Runway touchdown lights shall be provided on Precision Runway Category 2 or 3. Runway touchdown light shall extend from threshold to 900 meters, but not beyond midpoint for runway length of less than 1800 meters. Runway touchdown lights shall be fixed unidirection lights showing variable wide. Runway touchdown light consists of two rows of barrettes installed in order to provide textual cues in the touchdown zone area. Consists of pairs of barrettes symmetrically located about center line with lateral spacing equals to the lateral spacing of touchdown zone marking. Longitudinal spacing of 30 meter or 60 meter barrettes shall be of at least three lights with a spacing less than or equals to 1.5 meters. Barrett size is from 3 meter to 4.5 meter. The length of the touchdown zone lighting determines the length of the obstacle free zone established to protect cat 2 and 3 approaches below decision height and in the event of a barked landing or go around after DH, a go around initiated beyond the end of the touchdown zone lighting is unlikely to be contained within the obstacle free zone. The purpose of rapid exit taxiway indicator light is to provide pilots with distance to go information to the nearest rapid exit taxiway on the runway. Rapid exit taxiway indicator lights should be provided on a runway intended for use in a RVR less than 350 meters. Rapid exit taxiway indicator lights consist of six yellow lights adjacent to the runway center line and configured in a three, two, one pattern spaced 100 meter apart. The single light is 100 meter from the start of the turn for the rapid exit taxiway. Stopway shall be provided for stopway used at night. These are located along edge and end of stopway. Stopway lights shall be fixed unidirection lights showing red in the direction of runway. In stopway, all lights are red. Pilots has to exercise extreme care to not go beyond this area. Today, we have discussed all types of lights which are installed on runway. We will post new videos soon on taxiway markings and lighting system. Viewers, we have reached to the end of this session. I hope you have found this interesting and useful. Please visit us again for more such informative videos. Wish you a wonderful day ahead.